everybody. You will not believe this. This is absolutely insane. They have Bucky's in Florida now. Oh my gosh. It looks like Bucky's. It smells like Bucky's. Yes, there is a smell. And I'm totally okay with it, even though it's not in Texas. I was in the Daytona beach area on my day off, so I was enjoying checking out the beaches. I was enjoying relaxing when I came to Flagler Beach as per a recommendation of a friend. While I was down here walking on the boardwalk checking out the beach, when I asked a Florida man walking six Pomeranians, all with little dresses on, where would be a good place to get something to eat, specifically seafood? He literally pointed across the street and said, the anchor. And that is where we're going right now. Hello, how are you and welcome. Welcome to the anchor. Hey, thank you. My name is Elsa and I'll be taking care of you today. Elsa, my, I... my name is Joel. Nice to meet you, Joel. Can I get you something to drink to start off with? Um, yes, I would like a, uh, an, uh, an unsweet tea. Yes. Uh, a couple of on the side, please. Of course. Um, yeah. But besides that, I actually know what I want to order, too. Wonderful. What can I start you off with? Um, by the way, I'm recording. Hope you don't mind. You're on camera. Is that oh, cool? That's fine. Right, I'm cool. fine with that. So I'm going to do, uh, I'll start with the ahi tuna. Excellent. Crab cakes. Crab cakes. Uh, okay. That was a recommendation. I heard those are really, really good. Absolutely. They are mostly crab and less filling. I like it. <laughs> the way it should be. That's the way it should be. <laughs> that's exactly right. Um, I want to try the trigger fish as well. Excellent. I've never had that, um, but so it's boiled blackened piccata. Can I do blackened probably? I'll do a garden salad. Let me ask you, um, are we very hungry or we're expecting other guests? You know what? It will. Uh, it'll just be me today. Really awesome. Yeah, I yeah. Love that. It'll just have a great be great appetite. Me. Well, I, we'll, <laughs> we'll find out. I don't know. I, I want the uh, surf and turf also. Uh, I'll do the fillet. Fillet? Um, How would you like that cooked? Yeah. Medium rare, please. I'll do the lobster tail. I'll get a, I'll go on a Greek salad and I'll do a, a vegetable. I'll do the uh, fish and chips. So Alaskan snow crab legs. Let's yes, do that. Absolutely. New England clam chowder. Let's try it. Let's try it. It can be actually one of your sides. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that okay. and, and just like a cup. I think it should be okay. should be fine. Um, I'd love some hot sauce. Oh, maybe we'll have room for dessert. <laughs> Don't, Let's see. Maybe. <laughs> Let's see. It's a lot of food. It's a lot of food. <laughs> awesome. Hey, I appreciate you. you Thank you so it. much. Of course, my pleasure. Hi everyone, so here we are with all the food. It looks absolutely fantastic. <laughs> so basically, we got so much. So in front of me here, I have some crab legs, obviously. I mean, how can you go wrong with crab legs? Um, we have a, the surf and turf, so I went with the filet. There was an option of either the uh, the uh, sirloin, the, the, the strip, the New York strip, or the filet with the filet. We have this lovely looking lobster tail, which they kind of put a bit of a garlic butter on it, some salt, some pepper, a bit of paprika. I went with a broccoli for my side. I love broccoli. Of course, we have the drawn butter, lemon on the side. I have the lovely looking seared tuna. This looks so delicious. This is the appetizer. You have this in the entree as well. Sesame crusted. Comes with this lovely looking wasabi leaf. Also ginger with a sweet soy sauce. I do love me all those delicious flavors. Um, so it's kind of like a kind of like a sushi tuna. You know, I, you know, you know what I'm talking about sashimi kind of thing. I have the fish and chips. They're very well known for the fish and chips. They make their own coleslaw. They hand cut the fries, and they look very very good. I have back here I have the oysters, I have a couple of the kind of raw half shell, and then a couple of the Rockefeller. Um, Rockefeller, if you're not familiar, is kind of a cream spinach, uh, usually some uh, Parmesan, mozzarella cheese, a bit of a butter on these ones here, which looks awesome. Of course, I have some horseradish. I also have some Tabasco, some hot sauce. Let me know what you like to eat oysters with down below. And then I have the crab cakes, which look delicious. They actually make the crab cakes here, and it's made with a lump crab, which is basically like the knuckle, like the really nice, more tender meat, rather than the claw. 
Um, for the side, I went with a uh, steamed vegetables. I also got myself a Greek salad. I love me some salad. Also, have then a garden salad here. Guys, I'm all about the vegetables. I'm all about the health. Of course, there's like baked potatoes, pastas. I could have got all that, but I, I like it. Um, but I also got the uh, clam chowder to try, guys. This looks absolutely delicious. Ooh, it smells so good. That's definitely a nice, heavy, creamy, uh, delectable, delectable, we'll say, looking chowder. Then I have the blackened trigger fish. This might be my first time ever having trigger fish. Um, it's apparently quite meaty, kind of like more like you know, swordfish than haddock, whereas this is the haddock, you know, lighter, whiter tasting fish, uh, very flaky. This is, it's still flaky, but it's supposed to be a bit more meaty. So I'm excited to try trigger fish. That is Florida. Everything here is coming as local as can be. Again, and it's absolutely insane that I can look out the window. What a gorgeous view. Um, they have a great patio here as well. So at that, I'm excited. So that, let's dive on in. I'm hungry, let's eat. Oh, and of course, I mean, I do have some ketchup, but I don't know if, if I'm really needing it, it's only gonna be for the fish. Uh, but with that, guys, let's get started here. Just momentarily. Maybe I'll try one of these Rockefeller first. It's, uh, you know, kind of been sitting here, so I wanted to get it while it's nice and warm still. So cream spinach. Lovely oyster, looks like a bit of paprika on it. Give it a shot. Ooh, man, that is a slap of flavor. Parmesan, incredibly, incredibly rich. If you ever had a, a Rockefeller, it is just like that lovely cream spinach. It's almost unidentifiable, unidentifiable as an oyster, but very, very delicious. Try a lovely oyster on the half shell. So these are um, actually Chesapeake Bay oysters come from Virginia. I love me some oysters, grab some Fresh horseradish on there. Mmm. Woo! That is a good, good, good oyster. Mm. Nice and meaty. Super, super fresh. You can just tell. I really like oysters. Last time I had oysters, I actually ate 15 dozen of them. So the fact that I'm still eating them, you can tell they're good. Horseradish on there. Man, I love that. That is just delectable. Great oyster. Comment down below what I should try next and see if you get it right. You know what? Next, I usually eat your vegetables first, kids, so let me grab a little piece of salad here. But I'm gonna try the blackened fish here, the trigger fish. So let me give you a bite of that. Ooh, this looks nice and juicy. Look at that, guys. I love blackened seasoning. It's kind of like a Louisiana thing in a way. Um, oh, it smells so good. Let's give it a shot. Mm. Oh, guys. Mm. It's lovely, kind of like Cajun flavors in that. The fish itself, like I said, is, it is a little meatier, but great tasting. Mm. There's a nice richness. They definitely put a bit of a drawn butter and wine in there. But man, just the flavors of that kind of like bay leaf. Mm. That lovely, lovely, delicious flavor. Oh, there's so much seasoning on that. I got a lot. Delicious. I love it some vegetables. All right, I'm gonna try a bite of this tuna. This looks amazing. I love seared tuna, everybody. Uh, I'll try it just by itself first. Mm. 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 Ooh, that sesame. Almost seems like a toasted sesame flavor. And I'll try it with some ginger, some wasabi. Dip in this lovely looking sweet soy sauce. Soy, honey. Mm. Good teriyaki. Oh man. Good bite in that wasabi. So fresh. I said, it's almost like a toasted roasted sesame flavor in that. Delicious. I'm gonna come back to that though, because that's gonna sit and keep pretty well. Let's try uh, this fish and chips. So they're really known for this fish and chips. Like I said, it is a haddock. It looks really nice. They do a, um, I think it's a, they sort of cracker meal. Oh man, that is so flaky. Cracker meal batter on it. Mm. So it has, a, it's, it's a pretty like thick batter. Really nice flavor on it. Try this tartar sauce they make here. Mmm. Ooh. Of course, I'm gonna try a little bit of ketchup. Let's see what this all about. I do love me some ketchup on tartar sauce and on fish. Let me know what you like in your fried fish. 
I can't complain. It's a good taste of fish and chips. I play with Sharon, Sharon and, and Jenna. Oh, okay. Ketchup tartar sauce. Good combo. Then we got the house made fries, which look real nice. Skin on fry. I mean, it's what you expect. No complaints about that, though. Try this coleslaw. I'm a big coleslaw person. Really nice. I know they said they make the sauce here. Celery seed. Mm. Nice and fine minced. Good coleslaw. I'm all about that coleslaw action. Comes with the fries. I can go back to the fries, so I'm just gonna put those over here for now, too. I also got myself that lovely sweet tea. I love sweet tea. One of my definitely favorite drinks when I go up to a restaurant. Let me know your favorite drink at a restaurant down below. Next. Guys, these crab cakes look really, really delicious. I think it's only fair if I try the steak and the lobster tail. I'm gonna start with the lobster tail, surf and turf. So I like how they uh, took the tail out for me. That makes it a lot more convenient. Oh yeah, look at that. Paprika, lovely, lovely garlic butter. Mm, oh man, ooh. That paprika, you know, it's, it sounds funny, but it's really coming through in the flavor. I don't know if I've ever had paprika on lobster before, but it's, still, it's very light, so it's still get the flavor of that lobster. And what I really like about this is it almost like a smokiness to it. Mm, delicious. I would have many of those. Good size lobster tail, too. There was one time I ate 50 lobster tails. Mm. I would eat 50 of those in a heartbeat because that tastes way better than those other ones did. Broccoli. Mm. I love it. Team broccoli. My choice. This is lovely looking filet. Mm. Beautifully nice, cut, seared. And they said they actually process them here. Like they buy the whole, they clean them. Oh my gosh. Guys, I just started cutting into this. I don't even yeah, see how tender this is. Oh my gosh, I'm literally barely having to run the knife. I'm running it as tender as I can. Literally so delicate. Oh yeah. Perfect. Just the way I wanted it. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. What a tender steak. Alright. Let's give this a shot. Next thing you know, closer to the pin, she Oh man, I get the lovely taste of that grill. That is amazing, guys. There is just something about beef and fire, which is just straight magic. I just cannot believe this. Look at this, guys. Look, look, look at how tender this steak is. Let me cut. Wow. I mean, it's called a tenderloin for a reason. Well, oh my gosh. I like salt. A little bit of salt, a little pepper on it. And you know what I love? And I'm so glad. I don't like when you go to a restaurant and they like cover your steak in like balsamic glaze or something like that. Mm. That's exactly what I want. Just a delicious, beautifully cooked steak with all the flavor. Oh my gosh. Guys, I just can't believe how soft this is and tender. A very tender, tender light. I just rips. Mm. Oh my god. Woo. People have mass and say, Joe, what's your favorite animal? Cows. They're so delicious. Let me know your favorite animal down below. That was awesome. I would totally have that again. Definitely gonna try the crab cakes next. So they make them here. Apparently it's a, they, they uh, a panko, a bread, oh my crap. Look how much crab is in that. Yeah, Woo wee! Just the way that pulled apart. Oh, 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 I can tell it's gonna be delicious. Let's give it a shot. And I love it, just seared, finish in the oven. Mm. So, so, so flavorful. There's a lovely, lovely bit of like pepper I'm getting there, like a green pepper. Mm. Mm. And this corn salsa. Woo! We got some uh, zucchini on the side. Wow. Let me try a bite of the 
from salsa with the crab cake. Oh my gosh, the way that crab cake just rips apart. Get some of this balsamic reduction that's on it. Oh man, this looks, I am excited. Mm. Mm. That sweet corn, oh my gosh. Crab is a lovely tasting meat. There's a nice bit of sweetness to it organically. But the way this is just made with the kind of the sweet peppers, the sharpness of the balsamic, mm. and that sweet corn in there. What a great combination. And it's just so delicately kind of like just seared. So soft. Mm. And it just melts in your mouth. It's almost like this. This sounds funny, but I almost got like a creamy aspect from it. A little bit of lime, citrus, and that salsa as well. Exactly what I want. And what a beautiful crab cake. I'm gonna try a little hot sauce. I love hot sauce. I like hot sauce on everything. I'm just gonna throw it all over. Give this a shot. Mm. Whoa! That is a keeper. Let me get this hot sauce, this uh, corn sauce action. Mm. Yeah, this crab cake is bomb diggity. I, I really like with a little bit of hot sauce on it. So they were telling me that, again, yeah, they're really well known for the crab cakes. They're not Italian, but they're really well known for the chicken parms as well. Mm. Mm. Man, that crab cake. Man, that is a keeper. Flagler Beach. Don't sleep on that. Crab legs. Some Greek salad. I love Greek salads too. The little bit of that kind of a feta cheese or whatever, the olives. I love olives. So for my salad, I always get my dressings on the side. Just my preference. Throw a bit of that on. Oh, and I got extra pepperoncinis on there. I love me pepperoncini pepper. Mm. Exactly what I want. All those. Feta. I'm going to come back to that. Because, so I got to get in these crab legs. This might be, well, this is where we're going hands on, guys. We're getting physical, physical. I'm not too bad with crab, but it takes me a while sometimes. All right, so we got a lovely looking knuckle there. These are, of course, some snow crab. Woo! Get a nice club of meat off that. Mm. Man, crab is good. It's all work. Is it worth it? Give me a hashtag worth it or a hashtag not worth it down below. Let's try to dive into all this here. Good clump of meat right there, everybody. Look at that. Like I said, I like crab. It is admittingly a little time consuming, but it is pulling out. Mm. All right, guys, get all this out. This is that lump meat right here in this knuckle. Crab claw. I do love his crab. Two thousand years later. Okay, guys. Slowly but surely. Like I said, you need patience. Patience to eat crab. It's good. But I think like the like crab cake. I don't gotta work for it. I like the claws. It's always got a nice clump of meat out of it. Huh, what feels like forever in a crab and chill? Mm. 
Oh, that is a good bite, though. When you get a bite, you just get a good bite, you know what I'm saying? It is very, very delicious. I do like it. And it did have it with a drawn butter. It kind of dumped all over the plate. All right, now I'm all seafoody. That is for sure. Then we gotta go wash my hands after that. Whew. Alrighty. Well, everybody. Whew. Delicious. But crab is a lot of work. Crab is a commitment. <laughs> Last but not least. Tuna? Clam chowder. I tried the clam chowder. Of course, they make it here. Looks very nice and creamy. A little bit of parsley on top. Oh man, that is rich. Oh wow, look at that. That is just, that is heavy cream. Wow. Oh, it smells so good. I do love me a clam chowder. Let's see what it's all about. Let's see some clams. Maybe some little scallops and potatoes in there. Oh, oh. Mm. Oh my gosh. Cream and butter. There is nothing else to say but delicious. <coughs> Went down the wrong way. Delicious clam, cream, and butter. It is so rich, but so good. I've seen people put hot sauce in their clam chowder before. I'm gonna try it. I've never actually tried hot sauce in clam chowder, but it might kind of help cut some of that richness. Oh my gosh. Woo! It is good, but honestly, hot sauce is not needed. Mm. Potatoes, clams, like I said, heavy cream and butter. Do you guys eat crackers with your clam chowder? What do you do, put it in it? I've actually never eaten crackers with clam chowder either. Delicious, but whew, that's a rich. Excuse me, comments to the chef. That's a heavy item. Let's finish off this tuna. So admittingly, I tried it earlier, and it was awesome. And I think after that really rich chowder, delicious chowder, but really, really rich. It would be a great way to finish it off. Oh, yeah, just beautiful sear on it. Mm. What I love about the sear tuna is you get the texture. The crust, where it's cooked is just a tiny bit has a type of more texture. The inside is so delicate, just like, fall apart. Mm. I love that sesame crust on it. This is almost like a roasted, like a roasted sesame flavor. The sauce is really nice. You really get a soy a teriyaki out of it. A little bit of ginger. It's a wasabi ginger action. So I'm a big wasabi fan. Um, with that soy. Mm. It's just so fresh. Definitely clear out your nostrils. Whew, that was a good bite there. Mm. That is a very good flavor. Uh, beautiful filet though. Definitely. Good tuna. I'm going to play it from here. Well, the bad everybody. Whew. That's pretty much all she wrote. Oh, whoa, wasabi got me there. Woo. Delicious bite, but ooh, that's a lot of wasabi. All right. Awesome. Well, the only other thing I need is the name of the iced tea. But guys, the anchor. Flagler Beach, Florida. 
What an experience. This was awesome. I'm really glad I came in. I mean, I couldn't have asked for a better view. I'm literally just staring at the water. It's just wide open water. I mean, it's probably 40 feet away from me. Like, it's just absolutely insane how, like, perfect location. I came here, you know, again, knowing or hearing that it was, like, really local focus. And this was amazing. Everything was so fresh. Those oysters were fantastic. You can tell a really, again, like, that cold water oyster, a little bit different flavor, a like Gulf oyster. And I loved it. Uh, it wasn't overly briny. It tasted so delicious. Very, very fresh. Nice little bit of meaty texture to them. I absolutely love this tuna. That kind of seared aspect with that sesame crust. Like it's a really like, toasted sesame, which is a, like roasted toasted sesame. It's a great flavor. Re really complimentary to the uh, sweet soy and the wasabi, the ginger. That blackened trigger fish was amazing. I loved that. I love blackened fish. And that was a great, 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 great flavor. Um, the steak was delicious, super tender tenderloin. Tender, duh. Um, it's in the name, admittingly, but it was more tender than I would have anticipated. That lobster tail was delicious with the paprika. I think it was a really, really nice aspect. Um, oh, the crab cake. Don't sleep on that crab cake. That was definitely one of my favorite items. Um, with the corn salsa, I would, with the little, for myself, the addition of that hot sauce was brought it right to a whole other level. But that everyone, definitely recommend. Um, I guess this area is obviously, you know, not only a tourist area, but really popular with the call snowbirds. That's basically me. I'm pretty much a snowbird. So, escaping the cold, coming down here, and this is a great meal. I'm incredibly satisfied. I definitely do not need anything else. I got a bit of a food baby going on today. But that was amazing. So that everyone, of course, the next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. Huge thanks to the staff here. They were super common, super friendly. And uh, I don't think I could ask for a better experience. Let me know your favorite item that you would have liked to eat down below. And that is pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed. I definitely enjoyed. And that, until next time, appreciate you. Thank you so much. If you liked the video, feel free to share, comment, like, subscribe. Until next time, goodbye. Oh, and have a lovely day. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe, yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.